This patient education video talks about coronary artery disease. In this video, you will see what is coronary artery disease, symptoms of heart vessel blocks, causes of coronary artery disease, risk factors, complications and prevention of coronary artery disease. The coronary arteries supply blood, oxygen and nutrients to your heart. A buildup of plaque can narrow these arteries decreasing blood flow to your heart. Eventually, the reduced blood flow may cause chest pain, shortness of breath or other coronary artery disease signs and symptoms. A complete blockage can cause a heart attack. If your coronary arteries narrow, they can't supply enough oxygen-rich blood to your heart, especially when it's beating hard, such as during exercise. At first, the decreased blood flow may not cause any symptoms, as plaque continues to build up in your coronary arteries. However, you may develop coronary artery disease signs and symptoms. You may feel pressure or tightness in your chest as if someone is standing on your chest. This pain, called angina, usually occurs on the middle or left side of the chest. Angina is generally triggered by physical or emotional stress. The pain usually goes away within minutes after stopping the stressful activity. In some people, especially women, the pain may be brief or sharp and felt in the neck, arm or back. If your heart can't pump enough blood to meet your body's needs, you may develop shortness of breath or extreme fatigue with activity. A completely blocked coronary artery will cause a heart attack. Sometimes, a heart attack occurs without any apparent signs or symptoms. Coronary artery disease is thought to begin with damage or injury to the inner layer of a coronary artery, sometimes as early as childhood. The damage may be caused by various factors including smoking, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes or insulin resistance, not being active. Risk factors for coronary artery disease include Getting older increases your risk of damaged and narrowed arteries. Men are generally at greater risk of coronary artery disease. However, the risk for women increases after menopause. A family history of heart disease is associated with a higher risk of coronary artery disease, especially if a close relative developed heart disease at an early age. People who smoke have a significantly increased risk of heart disease. Breathing in secondhand smoke also increases a person's risk of coronary artery disease. Uncontrolled high blood pressure can result in hardening and thickening of your arteries, narrowing the channel through which the blood can flow. High levels of cholesterol in your blood can increase the risk of formation of plaque. High cholesterol can be caused by a high level of low-density lipoprotein cholesterol known as the bad cholesterol. A low level of high-density lipoprotein cholesterol known as the good cholesterol can also contribute to the development of plaque. Diabetes is associated with an increased risk of coronary artery disease. Type 2 diabetes and coronary artery disease share similar risk factors such as obesity and high blood pressure. Excess weight typically worsens other risk factors. Lack of exercise also is associated with coronary artery disease and some of its risk factors as well. Unrelieved stress in your life may damage your arteries as well as worsen other risk factors for coronary artery disease. Eating too much food that has high amounts of saturated fat, trans fat, salt and sugar 
can increase your risk of coronary artery disease. Risk factors often occur together and one may trigger another. Sometimes, coronary artery disease develops without any classic risk factors. Researchers are studying other possible risk factors including sleep apnea. This disorder causes you to repeatedly stop and start breathing while you're sleeping. Sudden drops in blood oxygen levels that occur during sleep apnea increase blood pressure and strain the cardiovascular system. High sensitivity C-reactive protein. This protein appears in higher than normal amounts when there's inflammation somewhere in your body. It's thought that as coronary arteries narrow, you'll have more C-reactive protein in your blood. High triglycerides. This is a type of fat in your blood. High levels may raise the risk of coronary artery disease, especially for women. Homocysteine Homocysteine is an amino acid your body uses to make protein and to build and maintain tissue. But high levels of homocysteine may increase your risk of coronary artery disease. Preeclampsia This condition can develop in women during pregnancy causes high blood pressure and a higher amount of protein in urine. It can lead to a higher risk of heart disease later in life. Heavy alcohol use can lead to heart muscle damage. People who have conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and lupus have an increased risk of buildup of plaque. When your coronary arteries narrow, your heart may not receive enough blood when demand is greatest, particularly during physical activity. This can cause chest pain or shortness of breath. If a cholesterol plaque ruptures and a blood clot forms, complete blockage of your heart artery may trigger a heart attack. The lack of blood flow to your heart may damage your heart muscle. The amount of damage depends in part on how quickly you receive treatment. If some areas of your heart are chronically deprived of oxygen and nutrients because of reduced blood flow, or if your heart has been damaged by a heart attack, your heart may become too weak to pump enough blood to meet your body's needs. This condition is known as heart failure. Inadequate blood supply to the heart or damage to heart tissue can interfere with your heart's electrical impulses, causing abnormal heart rhythms. The same lifestyle habits used to help treat coronary artery disease can also help prevent it. To improve your heart health, what you need to do is Quit smoking Control conditions such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol and diabetes stay physically active eat a low-fat low-salt diet that's rich in fruits vegetables and whole grains maintain a healthy weight reduce and manage stress coronary artery disease is caused by plaque buildup in the wall of the arteries that supply blood to the heart plaque is made up of cholesterol deposits Gradual buildup of plaque results in reduced blood flow, which in turn may cause chest pain, angina, shortness of breath, or other coronary artery disease signs and symptoms. Depending on the severity and extent of the narrowing, lifestyle modifications to medicines to surgical procedures are advised. For more information, contact Dr. Raghu, Director, Cardiologist, Astor Prime Hospitals, Hyderabad, India.